Hi everyone on YouTube, Christopher Dolce here from Dolce Hyperbaric, showing you how to put together the world's best flexible soft shell chamber Oxynova. Come on in, I'm going to show you how easy it is. We're working out of our home just like a lot of others during this pandemic. So I had everything already set up for you to see the assembly. When you do receive your chamber, you're going to receive five boxes. One for the mattress, one for the frame, one for the chamber, one for the bottom foundation, and one for the compressor. I laid everything out. That way it was pretty much ready to go. That's what you want to do when putting together your chamber. That way it makes it fast, easy, and everything is accessible. As you can see, the frame has these quick disconnects that go together really easy. You basically have a little button right there and you push it in and you no tool is required. It pops right in without a problem. First thing you want to do is lay everything out. When you receive your bottom foundation, you're going to want to put the six straps that are provided, two on each on these two and then two in the middle to hold these together. Lay it out like that, put these right on top of the others and lay them down. That's the first step of putting the chamber together. Very simple. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your chamber, fold it in half, and lay it right in the middle. Make sure it's all separated. Make sure it's at the end of each, each side. This one we're not gonna to compress today. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to assemble and all the parts that are provided. And there you go. Make sure it's even on both sides. Make sure this side is even with this side. You can actually pull it down a little more this way. Just like that. You're not gonna need many tools to put this chamber together. Just a screwdriver, one screwdriver. Everything else is pretty easy, it goes right together. You can either get inside the chamber and work your way with the frame, or you can put the frame together and work it inside to the chamber. That's probably the easier way to do it. You open up the chamber like that. Get it in there. Like that. And then work it down to the end. Now, sometimes you have to get inside the chamber, so you want to take your shoes off, and that way you can work it to the very edge. You want to put this one in first. Get in, lift up on both sides, and work this frame into the very edge of this side of the chamber. You can grab it by the two arms, lift up on the chamber, Give it a little push there. Make sure you have plenty of room. That way you're not hitting anything. And work it in. Get it around the windows. Get it around the window. Work it in. Pull up on the top. There you go. That's one side. All the way, grab the arms of the two rods that you assembled, push it all the way to the end. That way you have plenty of room to connect the two. Same thing with this side. You maybe even get in with it. Get it in there. That. Get down and 
work it in just like you did the other side. This side has your regulation valve and your light. So be very careful. Make sure you get around those. Work the frame into the end of the chamber. Just like that. See how that goes. Push it all the way to the end. Then you should be able to pull up on this. And you can see how easy it is to put your quick disconnect right inside. <clears throat> oh, my gimbal's going a little silly. Showing my wife how to use it. Let's see here. Hit it again. And there you go. Just hold it up right. So there you go, that's the frame. I'm just gonna put this other quick disconnect in. As you can see, very easy. Put the quick disconnect, it pops together, and there's your frame assembly. Very easy. Let's move to the next stage of putting together your hyperbaric chamber. You have a line on the mattress, which is very easy for cleaning. Um, it's the more pounds per square foot than any other mattress. As you can see, look how comfortable that looks. If you're gonna get it in your chamber, you're gonna feel like you're sleeping in your bed. Good way to do it is to fold it, and then you can work with it by yourself. You can assemble this right by yourself without a problem. You can lay it right in. It's a great way to do it. Get it in on this side, get it in on that side. Bring it all the way to the edge, just like you did with your frame. And then unfold this side towards the other edge. And there you go. That's your frame. I mean, that's your, that's your mattress. As you can see, the frame only has, well, it has one, one bar on each side and, two, and one ring, two rings. On the bigger chamber, you'll have four rings. Same, same on each chamber with how many bars. You'll have the same size bars on all the chambers, but you'll have two rings, two rings on your five, seven, and eight, and four rings on your number nine. <clears throat> now we move to the next stage on putting together your Oxynova hyperbaric chamber. Very easy so far, quick assembly, no tools required, but a screwdriver. What you're gonna use this screwdriver for is where your gauges go in. On the back side of where your gauges go in, you have this little black screw. You could use a penny, you can use a screwdriver, whatever you like to take that out, because that's where your gauges, that's where your gauges are gonna go in. You're gonna have an interior gauge and an exterior gauge. Now, if you're putting a concentrator on, you can just huck the concentrator right here. But if you're not putting a concentrator on, you're gonna to need to put this screw here so when you build up pressure- On the it, inside. On the inside. It will make sure that you don't lose any pressure at all. So that's what I'll do now. I'll go in there and put it on just to show you how easy. Whenever you're screwing anything into any of these medical grade fittings, you're going to want to use your fingers and make sure it goes in smooth and easy. Put it right in there. You don't want to cross thread it. Make sure it goes in smooth and easy. There, it went in smooth and easy. You would use your screwdriver to tighten it up, a penny, whatever you think to make it tight. So, we're to the compressor and to the gauges. Now, when you receive your compressor, you're going to receive it with these hoses. These are the best hoses on the market. They're lined with nylon and quick disconnects to make it easy for assembly. You have the highest quality of gauges. And when you look at your gauges, you're going to have an interior and an exterior. This says exterior right on it. So just know that you cannot put this on the interior or you'll ruin your gauges. So this is your exterior. This one will go on the outside. That way you can see your pressure from the outside of the unit. Like I said, you wanna just put it in there, make sure it screws in nice and easy. Hand tighten it to where you feel 
It's tight, but you don't want to over tighten it because you can strip it out if you do over tighten it. You don't want to do that. Same thing on the inside. You would put your interior. You see it says interior. You see it says it right there, in interior. So. I don't see what the can, that's why I'm Okay. And you screw that right in. Hand tighten it. See, it almost like it went a little sideways, so you didn't want to do that. Just hand tighten it like that, and hand tighten it until you feel it's secure and tight enough. Don't over tighten it. Along with your compressor. This is our compressor from our number nine. You're gonna see us compress the number nine. I wanted to show you how fast the number nine compresses. With your compressor, you're gonna receive the gauges, the hose, and this kit. This will be in the box separate. What you would do is screw this in to the top of your compressor. I don't wanna open this package because it's for our number seven. We're not compressing that today. This is your muffler. You would do the same thing. Screw this in. Everything is provided with Teflon tape. You see that, you know, you screw it in with the Teflon tape till you hand tighten it and you're all good. This piece here, I'm gonna show you in our number nine where that goes. It goes on the opposite side of your input for your oxygen. It would go on the inside there, you just hand tighten it. I'll show you that on the number nine. Pretty easy so far, right? And this is the easiest part, guys. Quick disconnects. You put your compressor, quick disconnect that there to your unit. Quick disconnect that to your compressor, and you're ready to go. This is your regulation valve. You would shut this to compress the unit. You would turn your compressor on, zip up the zippers, and your hyperbaric chamber is together. Very simple, very fast. I'll show you just real quick. That's the compressor, but we're not gonna compress that one today. I'm gonna show you the number nine. So that's your assembly for all the chambers. They all assemble the same. The only difference about our number nine, I'll show you that. We have four rings instead of two. And you might want to work those in a little bit differently than the ones I just did because uh, they're a little bit more difficult to, to work in there with four rings. Two rings, it's not a problem. They go in no problem at all. So just like this one, you would do a quick disconnect there. Put your disconnect there. You would start your unit. This is your uh, compressor. This is your light. I didn't mention the light earlier. This is your cord for the light. It basically goes in there very easy. You put your cord light right in, plug it in. I put the light on so you guys can see. I'll show you the light. Basically adjust by a quick spin of the knob, just like an airplane valve for air condition. And there's that black piece that I showed you earlier. It's right there. That's where you screw that black piece in from your compressor. That way it ports in the oxygen. So on the smaller units, you have uh, two zippers. On the bigger unit, you have three. Now if you're on the inside, you start at the top zipper and work your way down. If you're on the outside, you start on your bottom zipper and work your way up. This is your regulation valve, and you want to make sure that that's shut when you're compressing air into the unit. The oxygen will flow right in freely with the great hoses that are provided. Make sure that's tucked in nice and neat. Make sure everything's good. And you'll see on the frame, it's not on the other frames, but on the number nine, there's an indentation to where you can get to all your zippers. You want to make sure that's wherever your zipper is on the hyperbaric chamber. So, now it's compressing. We have air and oxygen, nitrogen going to the unit. Just wanted to tell you a little more about it. Wanted to tell you a little more about Oxynova and how we're different than everybody else. We're the only hyperbaric chamber that has a lifetime warranty. Sorry, it's, it's a little warm. 
just that's it you're done how hard is that that's not hard at all right so we're the only one that has a lifetime warranty no one else can provide a lifetime warranty there's others out there that can provide a two-year three-year and maybe five-year warranty no one else has a lifetime oxynova does they have a lifetime warranty we're made out of kevlar and teflon we're basically the toughest material in the world kevlar that's how we're able to offer a lifetime warranty what makes us different about our chamber than everyone else is we have a compressor that has a patent for having silver in the compressor. There's silver inside here that keeps any bacteria from entering the unit. We have a turbine rather than a piston, because a piston with all other units goes up and down and it drops in pressure when it's at the top, it drops in pressure when it's in the bottom. So just know that's why we carry these high quality gauges is so you can see that you don't drop in any pressure. You have stainless steel gauges better than any else, anyone else on the market. We have these hoses that are quick disconnect, as you can see how easy they went together. This is very good how easy they go together. They're medical grade. Others use PVC, we're all medical grade. Our whole unit is non-toxic. Nothing on this unit is toxic. You're not breathing any toxins when you're inside receiving treatment. You see all the fittings on the outside. You're able to put two lights, two compressed, I mean two uh, concentrators, whatever you'd like to uh, Pour it in. If you'd like to have more oxygen, you, you can put a concentrator or even two concentrators. The good thing about ours is you don't need a 10 gallon concentrator. With the quality of our pump, it's a lot stronger than all the others out there, and you only need a 5 liter. You don't need a 10 liter concentrator, and it's a lot cheaper. We also have carry regulation valves on the ends that no one else carries. Those regulation valves will continue to hold pressure and regulate the pressure throughout treatment and they will regulate at 1.3 and 1.4 at all times. You can actually put your hands over them, a pillow can cover them, anything can obstruct them and they'll continue to regulate pressure no matter what's happening. You can actually put death tape if you had to. That's what makes us to where we know we can have lifetime warranty. Other people put pressure kits on them and we know that can't be done because our regulation valves are different than anyone else. We're able to let, offer that lifetime warranty because we know, you know the stitching isn't going to pop from people trying to put too much pressure in it. We also have a frame no one else carries. The frame is thicker than anyone else. It's stainless steel with quick disconnects. As you can see, they were quick disconnect, and you can put it together with no tools. No tools are required to put our frame together. Very easy to assemble. Our mattress has more pounds per square foot than anyone else on the market. It makes it more comfortable than anybody else on the market. It's the best mattress out. Nobody else can compare it to the quality. It's like sleeping in your bed. We have 10 windows on our biggest unit. Nobody has 10 windows. They have three or four. That's our smallest unit. We have three windows on our number five, which that's the smallest. Everything up from there has eight windows, and then this biggest one has 10 windows. Our number seven or our number eight have eight windows that are double pane, and our number nine has 10 windows that are triple pane, which means they have three layers of coating in between, and the others have two layers. As you can see, uh, it's very well constructed. We're superior to all the others on the market just by the quality of it. I mean, if you come to see our unit, you're going to see the difference just by the feeling, the touching of it, and see the quality just by the craftsmanship. I look at others, and I'm very proud to be a distributor for Oxynova. Oxynova is the best by far on the market, number one. I mean, I say world's best just because I've seen so many others and then I can compare. I don't ever downgrade anyone else's chambers. I just know that, you know, you get treatment in them, but you know, you get what you pay for, and we're definitely uh, superior to all the others on the market. And uh, just want you to know you're getting a quality unit with Oxynova. This is where you poured in your concentrator. If you had a concentrator and you didn't put that that screw on that I showed you, you would uh, put your concentrator here, and it would pour in more oxygen. And like I said, you can also add others to the medical grade fittings on the outsides. And you can have more concentrators, you can have more lights, whatever you like to put on there, and you can add it to it if you like. And, uh, you know, you see how easy it went together? If we're not able to come out and put one together for you, you're able to do it yourself. It's very easy to do. Uh, all the uh, Teflon tape is on there. All you do is put a muffler, this piece, and the gauges. And as you saw, the, the one screw that goes over the concentrator if you're not using the concentrator. And this comes off, you can pop this off, this is for the concentrator to put on, and that still has that screw on the other side to where you're definitely 
not losing pressure. As you can see, it's starting to gain pressure. We're gonna go up, it's gonna take about five minutes. You see how fast it's, it, you know, it took to, to start gaining pressure. It's gonna be up at 1.3 in no time. Our bigger units are 1.3. When you buy the number eight and the number nine, you're at 1.3 ATA. And when you have this five and the seven, you're at 1.4, just because they're a smaller unit and they have less room and it compresses the air a little more. You see the quality of the unit. I know there's others out there. I've seen many of them. And just know, you don't find stainless steel gauges like this. This is the highest quality of stainless steel gauge. You can see the pressure at all time. It's not red and green. Others just use red and green, or they won't have the little lines on there showing the exact pressure. They'll have maybe one, two, three. They won't show how it holds a steady pressure. As you can see, the quality of the stitching all the way around on all the windows, the zippers, high quality, that red, Velcro you saw on the inside. Handmade. Handmade. Uh, it, it's all handmade. Yes, it's all handmade, and the, the the rubber the rubber seal you saw on the inside has Velcro. Others out there are stitched, and ours have Velcro. And I, people say, oh, Velcro is bad in the chamber. It's not inside the chamber. It's past the first zipper, so it doesn't affect any type of somebody pulling Velcro apart. But the Velcro basically allows you to take that rubber off if you need to, to you know, provide you another one rather than if it does get bad, which it doesn't get bad. If you just use talcum powder, the one without the smell, that keeps it nice and soft. You won't ever have a problem. And you can uh, make sure that you know, if you do, you send it back and we'll take care of you. And we have lifetime warranty on everything. So just know that you know, if, if, if you have a problem with anything at all, you send it back to Oxynova and they'll take care of it. And you know, without a problem, they'll definitely uh, help you in any way that you can. We uh, take pride in our craftsmanship. We take pride in our customer service. I'll check back with you every six months to see if you need filters. Basically, your filter is here. Here, you have a filter. This is you can see that. That's why I'm using this pump. This one's a little dirty. It's about a year old. And when it gets a little dirtier than that, we'll replace that filter on the inside. You also have two filters right here that you could take out and vacuum out with your vacuum. Last time I pulled those out, they didn't have any debris or anything on them. I vacuumed them, but they basically didn't have anything at all. That's the one filter that you would replace. These you don't have to replace, you just vacuum them. And as you saw, everything went right on. The muffler went right on. The, this goes right on. The Teflon tape is there. So it's very easy to assemble. And that's it. I mean, you guys, we're at 1.4 almost. You're gonna hear it start regulating in a second. You see how fast that got up in pressure. Just know that ours rises in pressure a lot faster than others because of the compressor. And like I said, you don't have to use a 10 liter, you can use a five liter concentrator. So you can even use two, two five liters if you want, and you know you'll be up there and getting more oxygen and getting more more uh, benefits. You can hear it regulating; it just started regulating. If you want to take a listen, that's when you know you're regulating at 1.3 ATA. And those regulation valves are different than everyone else. Nobody else can provide regulation valves that can be obstructed from the inside. And as you can see on the side here. We're at 1.3 and 1.4 ATA, and that's very good for many conditions. Some conditions require different pressures. Just know you can check with any hyperbaric specialist and see what pressure is ideal for your condition. And just know that you know you can you know use 1.4 or 1.3 ATA for many conditions, and you can do it multiple times a day. You're able to do it anywhere from one time to three times a day from 30, or from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. So if you want, you know, I usually just always do 90 minutes, and then if you want to do a couple of treatments a day, you can. But that's Oxynova. I just wanted to show you how easy it went together, how easy it is to assemble. I showed you that with the number seven, and I just wanted to pump up and show the number nine, how fast our number nine compresses, because our number seven is even faster. Our number five is like that. So just know that you're getting the best unit that can be made for a soft shell, flexible chamber. When you see the difference, you're gonna see the high quality and the superior craftsmanship, and you're gonna see why we're different than everybody else. So there you go, guys. I'll come back on here and get inside, actually, and show you how to regulate the pressure. If you do have discomfort, we have a knob on the inside. You can let a little bit of pressure out, as you can see, and regulate and get the discomfort in your ears. But I never have a problem with that. Anyone that we put in it never has a problem. We usually just shut this right when we pump it up and 
when you do a 60 minute treatment, you're going to want to decompress it for 10 minutes. So a little at a time, you want to decompress, have it drop down just a little bit, and then in a few set, you know, a minute later or so, you want to do it 10 minutes. So 10 different times, decompress and make it go all the way to the bottom. If you're doing a 90 minute, you're going to want to do about a 15 minute decompression, a little at a time, just decompress from the inside. The greatest thing is you can operate this by yourself. You can put it together by yourself. You can operate it from the inside by yourself. You're able to see the regulation on the pressure. And for some reason, if there's an emergency, people are like, what happens if there's an emergency? You could decompress the whole thing in one shot and not have a problem, not an issue, but it's not very good to do that. You want to decompress a little at a time. And you don't want to do that multiple times, that's for sure. So just know that you can operate this yourself, you can have it delivered, you can put it together, very simple, and it's the best unit I've seen out there. So OxyNovo, world's best, brought to you by Dolce Hyperbaric. You can find me at dolcehyperbaric.com. You can find me on my email at dolcehyperbaric at gmail.com. There you go. And you see how easy it is to assemble. You see the craftsmanship of our unit. And here we are on YouTube. There's others on YouTube. Just know there's no others like us. Lifetime warranty, the best out, OxyNova. Have a great day. Appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to come back on. Get inside and show you how to decompress on my next video. I'll have many more videos out there telling you how OxyNova is superior to all others and we're taking over the market. Talk with you soon. Dolce Hyperbaric, thank you for watching.